fire breathing dragons, presents, cute little animals. Is this real life or is this a fantasy? Then we added the red and black one and then this year we added the two headed one. It's real and it's a Christmas display at a house in Mandeville that has come from Diana Rowland's mind and she happens to be a fantasy and sci fi author. Oh, we put Santa hats on them. We tried to put halos on them, but they didn't stay on very well. Roland says she started putting up the dragons for Halloween four years ago. Then she'd take them down and would put them back up for Christmas. And people loved them. They'd send their kids, would take pictures with them. But this year, at least one neighbor didn't quite share in the spirit of creativity as a letter with no return address came in the mail last Friday with a note about the display saying it is totally inappropriate at Christmas. It makes your neighbors wonder if you are involved in a demonic cult and to consider removing the dragons. It was just so over the top and ridiculous. And I ran to my daughter and said, we got hate mail. <laughs> Roland thinks it's judgmental. I can't take an anonymous letter seriously. And when she went to share what happened on Facebook, it went viral. And so far, it's enough to make some neighbors slow down and take a peek. I love their decorations because they decorate for all the different seasons. And and, you know, I'm, I'm not sure exactly what it means, maybe, but I enjoy looking at it. Along with all the attention, Roland tells us there's also been an outpouring of support, including from some who want to offer her money. Whatever money they would have wanted to give me for dragons, donated to a charity. Touched by the messages, she's made some changes to the display. Uh, instead of backing down and taking everything uh, down, uh, we added the two Christmas dragons. And so despite the story starting with someone who might be a Grinch, Roland says the story has a happy ending. With the Christmas spirit as warm or burning hot as ever. In Mandeville, Jacqueline Quinn, Eyewitness News.